My name is Ken Narasaki, and I play the character of Ray. I'm, uh, I'm the lead character, Emma's husband, who has basically is the reason why she's embarked on this journey, because he does not pay attention to her, doesn't see her. And um, yeah, when she's gone, he, he misses her and wants her back, but he doesn't really know how to tell her that. Um, and I got involved with this film when it was a short, like 10 years ago. Yeah, yeah. So I, 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 I love the short, and, and David said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to turn this into a feature. And I went, yay, yeah, that would be great. And, you know, how many times do people say that and then actually do it? And we watched the script uh, get developed over the years and, and, and turn into this, this beautiful piece that it is now. And I, I'm so proud to be a part of it. Well, uh, you know, that one was really like, uh, it was like 10 minutes and... And they were film students, so you know we were like shooting in somebody's house that they rented, and it was happening really fast. And um, and I just assumed, you know, it's like a student film, good experience. I like I like the people. And then I saw the finished work, and I went, "Wow, this looks great. This looks like way better than a student film." And I and I felt the same thing about this. I they raised like fifty grand on the Kickstarter to, for, for the shooting budget. And I looked what, with what they had when they were finished, and I was just like, this looks like a beautiful film. And so. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, you know, I, it, he's a, it, I, I know a lot of guys who are sort of shut down, you know, and, and that's how I viewed him as someone who was just like, you know, made a lot of compromises with his life and really just wants things as simple as possible. And, and in the process, he's kind of sh shut down with his wife, too. And uh, and I, I, I like what David's done with his character. It, it's, it's a minor role, but he does get to come back in the end and see how his wife has blossomed and actually appreciates it. So I think that's kind of a nice, that's a nice touch for this, for this guy. Well, you know, I really, to me, there, there's the gay theme, and I think it's interesting that this film is not really a coming out film, because the characters already come out, but what happens in a lot of families, and I think, particularly Asian American families, and, but I'm sure across cultures, a lot of times you, you, you come out and you don't ever talk about it again. It, yeah, and I think that's the beautiful part about, that, about this film, is that you get to see them dealing with it in a way that it's not really verbal but they through symbolic gestures through the through the emotional connections that they're forced into they do find a resolution without really talking about it which i think is like well that's so asian actually <laughs> Gosh, you know, I don't think I've ever been in anything that's been in the festival. I, I've attended, and uh, I, yeah, I, it's great. I think this is like, um, this is growing and becoming more important as it should be because it's it's Los Angeles. So, I'm really excited to see how the how the festival's grown. Um, I guess just that it's really uh, there's humor. Uh, it's it's really deep. It's not. It's not heavy. It's very textured and layered, and I, I, I think it's really sort of a beautiful piece of art.